Hello again. <laughs> We're here to play a game. Welcome everyone! The game is <laughs> Star Fox. <laughs> Sorry, I suddenly I got a... <laughs> Flem just suddenly started acting up. You haven't deployed me. Oh no, I was looking for you to deploy me. Oh neat! Good on you. Oh, I think there's some goodies I can find there. Woo! That's why I'm here. I like how it tells... Nah, just money. Right. <laughs> Ouch. Oh. I apparently hit something. Um, so yeah, anything you've got to talk about? Uh, were you just sitting here in your spaceship? Just this whole time? Apparently. Um, because, you know, I've got other things I can talk about, well... Yeah, no, I need to do this for this. Um, probably should have prepared for more in advance for my, for that, uh, comment on my birthday, but I only just remembered that, oh yeah, it was my birthday. Yeah. It's not gonna hurt, that's No. Oh, you shoot laser beams. Yeah, I can shoot laser beams. Do it. <laughs> just kind of smash your face into the computer screen. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you. <laughs> I didn't actually press anything to do that. Just you know, I kind of forgot that it was my birthday, but you know, it's talking about oh a God, game that my birthday. Remind me, oh yeah, that's where I got it from. Um, do you have anything you got to talk about? So, I beat Divinity. Oh yeah, you mentioned that on Twitter. But yeah. Just saying you beat it doesn't really explain too much. Um, <laughs> it's the sequel, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it's the sequel. Because you and Kyrus haven't yet to get around to playing more of the first one again. There's a lot of endings that you can get. Um, some of them are locked to having certain characters on your side or being certain characters. There's Apparently there's no ultimately good ending because apparently you're going to tick off someone in your group. Yeah. yeah. No matter what you do, someone's going to be a bit annoyed. All right. Fox is talking very little here. Now, that was just a one... That was just a... One-way exchange of dialogue there. Yeah. I guess I couldn't be bothered to play his voice actor. <laughs> um. Yes, I can tell. Okay, okay, where is it? It's on the other side. Okay, oh. You have no patience either, Jesus. What, what who, me? You. Pepper? Everyone. No one's got <laughs> patience. This thing controls terribly. <laughs> there we go. Um, I was yeah. say I thought we were going to grab the uh, gold ring first, but no, oh. ah! no, neat. Got gold ring from blowing up a ship from a boat. Gosh, they need to swallow that squid problem. Uh, it keeps turning on its own. Yeah. We just have these random fire geysers as part of this sewage factory. It's not a sewage factory, Liam. It's a base. <laughs> this is clearly a part of, you know, welfare. <laughs> What's that? Oh, a battleship. Just waiting. Yeah, you, um... um oh, God! Uh, missiles! Yeah. You you had any you liked though? Yeah, for the most part it was pretty good. Um, I went with the divide magic powers between everyone and them, mm. uh, which you can get if you have Iphan on your team. Ifan, sorry, that's how you say it. It's dumb. <laughs> um, which one's Ifan? The ranger dude that was a lone wolf. Oh, is anyone who doesn't uh, like the idea of? Dividing the power dough. No, he likes the idea of it. Oh. He doesn't want another divine because in his because he got betrayed by Lucian effectively. Ah, the previous divine, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Um so he's all like, uh, you can't trust someone with that kind of power. Um Funny enough, having watched um atop the Full Fall episodes recently, that was kind of uh, something that got brought up in the Infinity War and Infinity Gauntlet sort of series. Um, 
Well, obviously, you know, no one trusted to say Thanos having the Infinity Gauntlet for good reason, you know, blowing up the world, or trying to, you know, killing half the, uh, half the population of the universe. Killing people generally does make you a bit harder to trust. But even when, say, Adam Warlock got a hold of the Infinity Gauntlet, Silver Surfer and Doctor Strange is like, yeah, even though you're considered the perfect human being, no, is we... He? Well, he was created to be the perfect human being. He is a warlock who's a r robot sort of thing. Oh, okay. That's um, to be a perfect human being. Uh, but Doctor Strange is also like, hey, we don't trust you with it either. And Adam Warlock is like, yeah, um, I'm the one with the gauntlet, so... Boop, just teleports him back to Earth. He later is made by... He's later told to by a few of like, the cosmic beings, like the Entity and all that, to... Yeah, we don't trust you with it either. Give that up. And he's like... I don't want to hurt the entity. You know, if I destroyed the universe, that'd be a problem. Yeah, just a bit. And kind of need the universe to live. Like having seen the Linkara as a top of the fourth wall on um, Infinity uh, Gauntlet, I wasn't a fan of Adam Warlock's character, but it really gets prop a bit fleshed out in Infinity War, which is the sequel to Infinity Gauntlet. Because they, you know, address the fact that Adam subconsciously, much like as he pointed out that Thanos has a subconscious uh, inability to win, because he because uh, he has a subconscious uh, fear of victory. Yeah. Um, Adam Warlock has the subconscious doubts that he doesn't think of himself as worthy, particularly of the title of being a perfect being. So when he got the Infinity Gauntlet, his subconscious thought that as a person with um, good traits and bad traits, he couldn't possibly be a perfect being to be, you know, the absolute god. Someone only of pure logic should be. And so he subconsciously split his good and evil self away from him. Okay. Which, when it was pointed out, he's like, that explains a lot! Him and Thanos get into some pretty interesting conversations uh, over the whole matter, really. But yeah, yeah, you know, like, yeah, Ifan, or Ethan. Yeah. So I basically went with his ending. Oh, did we get shot? No. But we're about to, though. Because you can't... Okay, there we go. Didn't get the coin, but oh well. Don't care about the coin. Let's kill some people. We got yeah. spotted, then. Yeah, because I can't turn off the. Yeah. Turn off the thing. Hmm. I have to. No, as in I can't turn them off. Oh, that one you can't. Okay. There's no there's no control panel for either of the ones that are watching it. Ah, okay. Um. There's the ring. Yeah, basically, Iphen's uh thing is all about Woo! um splitting the power up so that no one person is trusted with it all. Mm. Drop the bomb. Oh. So I can't see where I'm... Just drop it. Um. Oh, it was in the way. Okay, I was about to say, where am I dropping it to? Red Prince uh, would rather you take the power for yourself and Lose doesn't seem to mind as long as, you, you know, she's free of her demon. Yeah, which you already did, so... Yeah, that was a challenging fight. Um, was he the one that was cha more challenging than the final boss? Because I remember you saying that the final boss was a lot easier than you were expecting. The final boss is potentially a lot easier. Uh, basically, the final fight is um, mm. one dude and a kraken. And the kraken summons ants. That does, yeah, that does kind of sound uh, a little bit um, weak. One dude! And a kraken. And a kraken. The Kraken summons um, additional units, though. But there's a spell you can get a hold of called Charm Void. Go get that token. penny! Go get that penny! Come on! Go get that penny! There we go! But there's a f spell you can get called Charm Void Woken. Oh, I shoot things. It's unusual with this little hacking robot. Um, and you can cast. Oh gosh. You can cast it on the. To, to shoot. That. Oh no! Multiple times. I thought it, I thought it was a button I activated. Because it went yellow, so I thought it was like, uh, it's activated now. No. I think you have to be the other side for the rest of it. Yeah. But, um. Seriously, for advanced technology as we have, we've got a surprisingly small tether here. Yeah, it's pretty terrible. Yeah, um. 
But as an actor of all sci-fi, like they severely underestimate the leaps in technology. If you um, use Charm Void Woken, which is a spell you can get in the final chapter, on the Kraken, mm -hmm. the Kraken becomes your ally. Why are you in here? Yeah, you can imagine that Dude is a lot less friendly without a Kraken. Yeah, but it also means all the adds that the Kraken summons are also charmed. Ah. So, it is just becomes one dude. Oh, this requires your expert driving skills, Raph. In this? Yeah, pull our way out of it. This thing's garbage, though. I can pretty much do nothing. Where did she go? I can't oh. see her. There we go. Through there. Oh, wait, you and Chris doesn't appear. Very slow. I'll drive. Oh god, stop turning randomly! Did, did we die? I hope did we so. die? <laughs> <laughs> Fox, why aren't you talking? <laughs> Fox has become mute from having to focus so much on his piloting. Stop hitting on me, I have to focus on not crashing. <laughs> uh, what? What happened? What? If Fox is just sleeping the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> um, 47 hits. Fox, what happened? What? what? Oh. Mm. That was a good nap. What? <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Because the final boss turns out to be Lord Brexus Rex, brought back from the dead. Okay. Because um, he had been under the control of Dallas. Turns out Dallas is also undead. Oh, the walker's got a new function. Oh yeah, because you can do that entire level with the walker instead. That sounds a lot easier. Um, um, sector B then? Sure. Yeah, Dallas turns out to be one of the gods. And also able to turn into a dragon. Ah, handy. Um, Lucien the Divine is still alive. Wait, last line of defense? Huh? I'm wondering if, uh... It's the last line of defense. I'm wondering if we, uh, need to take an alternative route to get that asteroid field, then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um... It's also shaped like... The sector B is shaped like the letter B. Yeah, it might be worth doing that first level again, because I think we may be able to get an alternative route with the walker now. Probably. Oh, no, Bill, and Bill. And Bill. Oh, Bills! No, Bill. You're not dead! Liam. What? Liam. What? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Every time! How do you forget this? How do you suddenly realise that the ship isn't moving? We were doing too well, though! You weren't moving! There was nothing attacking you! again. Sure. I'm kind of curious if we can unlock a new route. With it, or maybe it has to be the uh, other level for the new route. We'll find out. Might be worth looking it up. You know, well, if we do sick, if we don't get a new route with this, we'll do sector B and just see whether it takes us through the asteroid field, whether it just takes us like straight to Andros or whatnot. Yeah, but basically, um, Dallas can turn into a dragon. Lucian's still alive. You get to the place, and it turns out that the Void was hidden behind a veil of source magic. Yeah. The gods that we murdered were like, cool. Now of our improved skills, let's see how we can do. Uh, the, the gods were all like, yeah, we want source power to become stronger. So they ripped a hole in the veil. Oh wow, we're really good now. Um, this is our expert skills here. Or it's because I actually know how to, you know, fly. Just a ship. Um, but yeah. To be fair, it's a really odd design for a ship. Lucian uh, faked his own death in a complicated plan. Um, so can I just... Yeah, I can. Um, yeah. 
Yeah, so his plan was to um, take all the source in the world and nope. speed, 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 drain speed. it to fix the veil. Okay. And thus sealing the source away forever, but also uh, sealing the void away forever, but also getting rid of everyone's source powers. So not too big of a problem, really. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's you know, like, oh, yeah, yeah we, we lose magic, but magic has been causing problems as it is. Well, no, anyway. you still have magic, just not source magic. Yeah. Uh, the only problem is when you take the source out of someone who is a sorcerer, they become a mindless puppet. Oh, okay. So, it's, okay, there's the problem there. Um, apparently in um, that ending, though, you get cured of it, the mindless puppet part. Okay. So, it's... Some consider it the best ending. Oh, there we go. We're still on a... Yeah. I was about to say there was the medal there. But yeah, I know. I went to try and get it, but I didn't. I guess we can get it. You kind of pointed out a bit like I'm trying to talk as well. Oh, so. when I, oh yeah, sorry. I only pointed out when it popped up on screen. Um, yeah, that was a bit light, so... <laughs> I'm a chicken. Oh, there's one. Wrong button. Wrong button. Cool. Don't, you need to be a chicken again. I tried doing a somersault, but somersault is a dumb button. Okay, follow Bill! Nothing has ever bad happened to Ow. Bill! Ow, stop shooting me. It's rude. Ow. It's a metal. Ow. That's got a weird hitbox. Hey! I'm shooting the robots on top of you! Oh, oh go, go to the other side. Yeah, I'm doing it. Jesus Christ, you're impatient. And above. Oh no, there's no more. Okay. Kill it. Come on. Just hit it. There we go. So, you had fun uh, doing it then? Yeah, it took me a few attempts. Um. I don't like Lucian, he's kind of a douche. Um, what, the villain? or He's kind of the villain, kind of not. Technically, he's a good guy. When you consider that his plan is to save everyone. Yeah, I guess. Um, but Yeah, you were trying to become a chicken. Okay, I can understand yeah. that. Because it's easier to stay on a path as a chicken. Phase one complete. Okay. So that means. Yeah, there we go. We just took the back route. We made it again. <laughs> so now we can go chicken mode. Yeah, now we can do chicken mode in this. But it wouldn't really help, would it? No. No, oh, the tanks count. Oh, that's what I remember the Fox uh, Amiibo does. Um, it's uh, benefit, I believe, is allows you to multi-aim. So you can hit and shoot, lock onto more than one at a time. That's pretty useful. It's seven. No, yeah, we've got seven so far. Three more to go. How to play this game? It's just everything's put in dumb places, <laughs> like behind me and attacking me. No, I meant the button place. Oh, okay. No, Slippy. Slippy, stop. what is your what is your love of murder here? You're a mechanic, not a killer. <laughs> Although, if they went with the original idea of you know the Star Fox crew having all metal legs. Then you could say that is uh, the machine, the parts he's using to build his ships and such are actually the remaining legs from those he's killed. I somehow doubt that. Let's get a gold ring. <laughs> we just leave all the robot parts. Uh, he just, he just right. takes the spare robot parts, builds with them. There we go. Shut up, Falcon. No one loves you. 
Shut up. Uh, I don't have motion controls. Be your eye laser beams with your strange purple rings which you'd think you'd be able to go through, but... Eh. Yeah, it is a bit weird, isn't it? Was that all? I don't know. My camera angle's awful, Liam. You're the one with vision. It's kind of terrible given I'm supposed Well, to... you're too low to the ground. I need higher up vision to scan out the area. I'm kind of flying right into their face rather than, you know... It's the way to fly. I, you know, above them. To sk because their weak points are above the, on their heads. Yeah, but I can't see them if I'm up top, so I don't know where to take you. Just go around in circles. That's what I've been doing. You've been doing it on the ground. It's the only thing I can do. There we go. Kill that one. Huh. I know. Just the exact same we got before. Hey, don't don't think it's too soon. We've got uh, another one uh, boss to pop up. See if we can do the alternative means of killing. Yeah. You just not a single one of us is insects, and honestly, when they did introduce in Star Fox, it was creepy, and they were far stronger than your army. Yeah, isn't that kind of racist? Well, the fact that the insects were the basically the brood Zorg mind pos mind possessing monstrosities. There we go. Now just carefully steer us in. The camera angle is a perfect atrocious. <laughs> I figured I'd do more damage than that, but... Yeah, I did this entire thing in the R-Wing instead of the walker. You just rammed your face. Yeah, I rammed into it. Because yeah. it was the first time! You'd think the explosion would have blown up the tower there. And the falling debris would kill <laughs> hundreds of We people. saved Pepper! Oh, oh God! <laughs> and that was the end of Pepper. Yeah, there you go. Mission accomplished. Yay! Huzzah, two medals. We killed him better than before. We actually killed him. <laughs> we didn't let him escape. That's that's how you know it's a truly successful mission. When there's no one left. We met them all. Now let's <laughs> feast on their remains. <laughs> I guess most of them are technically carnivores. That was a joke Brill and the family had about when the um, in Star Fox was all, the insect aliens just have it slipping on the ground and just eat some. Which <laughs> <laughs> Falco... Could be a carnivore, could be an herbivore, it depends on what type of... Well, he's a pheasant rather than a falcon. So he's a herbivore. As you know, they eat grubs as well, so I'm a herbivore. So oh, he... look! There's a Miiverse bar on my gamepad! Slippy eats insects. That'd Peppy be nice the... if that did anything! Peppy's the only one that's a herbivore. Everyone else would eat each other. <laughs> oh, I also love the implication that Falco is a pheasant, you know... Named Falco? Yeah. Possibly because otherwise he's a pheasant, which is a little bit less uh, intimidating than a falcon. Nah, no need, different route. Okay, just worth trying though. Yeah, it's probably um, fail on mission three or something. Or we all go a different direction in mission three. There may yeah. be another portal in that area. Maybe. But yeah, yeah. So um, it's a slightly longer episode here, but hey, you know, folks are gonna enjoy a slightly longer episode. Or suffer it. <laughs> Depending on your preference. Yeah. Oh, cheer everyone! Bye.